Hey, this channel isn't just for Japanese RPGs. Let's talk about something else, this time from Singaporean developer Gentle Bros. Cat Quest 2 is a charming little action RPG, emphasis on charming and emphasis on little. It lasts about 10 hours and gets by almost entirely on charm. Nearly every line is a cat pun, or unlike in the first game, a dog pun. That's right, you've got a dog in your party too, and the writers couldn't help but cram in as many corny feline and canine related puns as they could think of. It's one of those games you gotta be in the right mood for. As dumb as the humor is, it's endearing if you're looking for some lighthearted fun. The story sure ain't complicated. You're trying to prevent the cat and dog kingdoms from going to war, with everything leading up to a final confrontation with the big bad. That's about it, but it's presented in a pleasing way, with simple but attractive visuals in a 2D pop-up feel. While you meet some fun characters who give you guidance and help upgrade your gear, Cat Quest 2 is light on the story and prefers to get you right into the action. Like I said, this game is short, but it's sweet as cherry pie. It plays a bit like Diablo or similar action RPGs. Combat consists of light attacks, heavy attacks, and a dodge roll, but the game keeps things interesting by constantly giving you access to new spells. Both party members can equip their own set of spells, which range from healing, to buffs, to magic attacks that deal different types of damage. Certain enemies have elemental weaknesses, and since you can instantly switch which character you control, you've got plenty of combat options despite a limited toolset. Combat complexity depends on how much effort you want to put into the game. While you can rely on your partner's AI for healing or the occasional spell and hack away consistently but safely, I had more fun playing a little more riskily, swapping between characters, casting various buffs, and trying to keep my damage output as high as possible. There's several weapon types, each with different attack speeds. I'm a heavy weapons guy myself. Give my kitty a hammer and he'll make every enemy a nail. You can also spend your gold to upgrade your weapons and armor to add bonuses, and given the game's simple stat system, these actually matter. No fat, all fun seems to be the developer's guiding principle. The smooth, responsive controls ensure combat stays skill-based, but the game's leveling system makes you want to explore and level up. If you're good enough, you can take on higher level bosses, but you'll deal so little damage that they're often not worth the time. It's better to find dungeons more appropriate for your level, which are signposted constantly, or complete some of the adventure's many, many quests. There's no level scaling, so as you get stronger, you're able to explore more areas with less worry, since those level 50 monsters become trivial once you're, say, level 55. It's that classic RPG, just one more level up feeling that makes you not want to stop playing, and the amount of content that facilitates this surprised me. There's optional dungeons galore, although most of them aren't really optional if you want to stay appropriately leveled. Still, there's plenty of freedom in where to go and what to do. This is an open world adventure with only a few gates blocking exploration at the start. Two thirds of the way through, however, the whole map opens up and nothing but your own skill prevents you from conquering any dungeon. Again though, this game isn't designed for low level runs and it's more fun taking a completionist approach. The toughest areas stretch into level 90 and even above and for such a short game, you'll get there before you know it. It's easy to spend hours perfecting your combat skills, leveling up, trying out new spells, upgrading your gear, taking on new quests and on and on and on late into the night. It's not deep, but it's deep enough. You won't break your controller, but it's a challenge. It's not jaw-droppingly beautiful, but it looks pretty good and it plays well. Cat Quest 2 was an addictive as hell good time that doesn't outstay its welcome. Should the Gentle Bros grace us with another sequel, I'll be here for it. Thanks for watching this RPG quickie. Leave a like for that algorithm, subscribe for more videos on RPGs, and have a blessed day.